doing one to tell y'all one thing. We out in Kevin, the Lost Care Giving Out, aka the Born Time, we're doing a giveaway. To you by Blades Uncut Media. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have a really amazing episode today. We're gonna make this episode a community episode. That's right, a community episode. So I was riding down 25th Street the other day and I saw a property that me and Al worked on exactly a year ago. A little bit over but almost exactly. So last year on Valentine's Day, if y'all all remember, me and Al cleaned up a property in Fort Pierce off of 25th Street and it was filthy. It was so filthy, garbage was all embedded in the grass and we cleaned it up. But it is overgrown again. That grass in the back of that place is back up tall again. And I tell y'all a lot that I'm looking at these properties I would like to invest in. And I'm not just saying that. This is one of the main ones that I would really like to invest in though. And there's a main reason because it is so close to the main street that it can be seen and therefore people can start to come to it once it turns into something that people would like to be part of. That's what I'm looking to do for several properties around town. Even if they're in the most run down parts of the city, that does not define our city. People just look at Fort Pierce as ran down, dangerous, criminal activity everywhere, and I'm getting tired of it. So when people talk negative and down about cities like this, I like to just look at them and say, hey, this is a beautiful place. You just need to discover and venture out. Stop trying to use one experience and um, dictate that the whole city is bad. I'm just getting tired of my city getting a bad rep. So y'all know that on this channel, we get around and help out the elderly, sick and disabled, and we also just give back to the community. So in this episode, we're gonna just get out in the community. We're gonna go back to this property and I'm going to clean it up. When I tell y'all I'm gonna clean it up, full 10 hours today. I have had several people come up to me and tell me that through watching my channel, they have started to do good deeds. So you think how you wanna think, I really don't care. I have my own way of thinking. I know what actions I need to take in my city to make it a better place. And that's what I'm gonna do, whether that's knocking on a stranger's door and, and providing a free service, or if that's getting out and doing a free service to a abandoned place, I'm going to do it. So um, no more talking. Let's go ahead and hit the road and let's pull up to this spot. And once again, it's about community, this video. I know y'all remember it now, come on. I know y'all remember it. But check it out. Check out the property, man. Look how tall it is. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get out of the truck. I'm gonna show y'all the property because some of y'all are new here. Some of y'all didn't even see the video last year when me and Al did this property. We're gonna get to work. We got a lot of cleaning up to do, a lot of trash is in this yard. Let's see beyond that too. You watch YouTube? You watch YouTube? Oh. 
Once again, y'all, what did I say this episode was about? Community. But before we get out of the truck and we get started, I do want to tell y'all one thing. Me, Al, and Kevin, the Lawn Care Juggernaut, aka the Boring Channel, we're doing a giveaway. All right. While we were at those mansions in Leesburg, those abandoned mansions, I kept finding different things like the no trespassing sign. And I decided to collect two of them. And um, me, Al, and Kevin have signed. All of us signed the sign. And we want to give away. Uh, well, I have another one at the house, but we're going to start off with this one first. We want to give away this sign to somebody special in the chat tonight. They left it in my hands to figure out how to do the giveaway. So we're going to do it like this. If somebody can tell me the name of the lady that me and Al love that works at Chick-fil-A. She is an elder. If you can tell me the name of that lady right now in the chat, you got to be in the chat to win these giveaways. We got three more things that I have to give away, but we'll do those in other episodes. But tell me the name of the elder that works at Chick-fil-A that me and Al love. All right. I'm not going to repeat these instructions. All right. Whoever won, please send me an email at contact at cleanthecity.net so that we can get this mailed out to you. If you do not follow the instructions, the very next video, I will be giving away this very same sign before we move on to the other things we have to give away. All right. But um, it grew right back. Jump grew right back, man. So. No, I, well, I'm jump down there. I don't charge nothing. What? Because I have a YouTube channel where I do overgrown yards, and I got a big following. So. Why I, you get paid? YouTube. And YouTube allowed me to get out in the community and do work for free for us. So like, I usually am doing work. Good. Yeah, I'm usually doing work for the elderly, sick, and disabled. But today I'm doing just a abandoned property that looked bad in town. Did, like I said, we did this one last year. The junk grew right back. Y'all gonna do it? Huh? Y'all gonna do it? I'm about to do it right now. You got equipment? I, I use the bare minimum. So if you stay out here for a little while, you'll see me just digging into it over time. Oh, you gotta try it out. Oh, uh, I'm good, good at cutting grass. But don't, don't say you can't do something until you try. Oh, I already you know, know that, bro. The people love my videos because it's part of ASMR. Where you from? I'm from Fort Pierce. Yeah. This is my city right here, man. That's why I'm out here what doing it. Do? My my dad is Willie Ponder, and my grandfather, his dad is Willie Ponder. So where you stayed at? I stayed at Sunland Gardens on uh, 42nd. So your auntie stayed, uh, what the name of? Nunda Palmer? Well, I got um, an auntie named Carolyn. Carolyn Palmer. That's my auntie. You go with Payo? Pa yeah, that's my, that's my auntie right there. Okay, 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 I'll be there, I'll be there. I'll be right there. Okay, <laughs> if I call him, we can do this. I'll tell him, hey, I have a gentleman in my city that, you know, trying to get rid of an S10. Um, I'll tell him, hey, like I'm, I want it if you can fix it up. That one, hey, that, that's a truck truck. You already know, you already own what I'm on. You already own what I'm on. That's exactly what I was thinking. Huh? All right, man. So as y'all can see, this grass pretty tall, huh? And I truly believe it's a little bit more taller than when me and Al was here last year. So. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do, all right? Uh, the whole back is full of this. There is not one patch of just flat land. There is nothing but tall grass back here on the sides, on the front. This grass going out of control right now. Like It's just growing. It's just growing, and if we don't cut it, it's going to continue to grow. The land that I have the tripod sitting on right now is beautifully cut. When they got right here, work stop so um if you're looking at my channel like i'm some filthy rich person that's making a lot of money off of this it's not there yet and when it does get there you'll know because you'll see me buying up properties like this and making them something positive for the community so 
I'm speaking it into existence. Let's just get right into it, y'all. Let's get right into it. Let's get back to the truck. Before I forget, we had a lovely subscriber send us a letter to the nonprofit PO box. So let's open it up and let's thank them for sending this. I almost forgot. It's not always about money, y'all. Y'all can send me a car, you can send me a letter, you can send me all type of stuff to the PO box. It don't have to be cash, it don't have to be a check. Just send me a letter. Let me know how you like the channel. I love this car too. Oh man, this is nice. March 2023, one very special you, AP. Happy birthday! Caught me off guard with this. My birthday ain't until the end of this month. My birthday is March 30th. But this is a, a happy early birthday. I wasn't sure what the date of your birthday is, so have a great day all month long. Make it a great year. Best wishes, Lisa, AKA Angel Pie. Lisa, AKA Angel Pie, thank you so much for just thinking about me. You know, like, I don't care how many subscribers I have. Well, let me repeat that. I do care. But what I'm saying is the number does not matter. I'm always gonna be the same me, no matter what. No matter if we hit a billion subscribers, I'm gonna be the same AP. So I am just really grateful for people like you. Because as I tell the channel, I was raised being part Jehovah Witness and part Baptist due to my dad being a Jehovah Witness and my mom being a Baptist. So parts of my life I celebrated and parts of my life I didn't. So I can slip into like a real, real, not depressive state, but just blah state, you know? And um, birthdays are to be celebrated. It's not about the gifts you give. But it's just about being, you know, thankful for another year on this earth. But this was a reminder that I have people that care about me. And um, I just truly appreciate that. I really do. I love you, Lisa. And thank you so much. All right. I hope you enjoy this premiere tonight. Let's get right into it. y'all. Once again, it's not about the money. Lisa sent me a car and I'll forever cherish and keep this. I'm going to put it right on my desk. All right. Let's do this.
I watch YouTube. Search for a YouTube channel called Clean the City. It's my nonprofit. I go around Fort Pierce and I cut overgrown yards for people. And I'm almost at 100K subscribers. I can appreciate y'all support, all right? Have a good day, all right?
the same as you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Right near 25th. I mean, they said that I forgot what a dude came by here yesterday and told yeah. me where they used to be back in the day. But I don't even know why it's been abandoned for so long. I mean, it's Fort Pierce, man. You know what I'm saying? People they venture out and yeah. you already know it. So what this is you nonprofit? I'm a nonprofit organization uh, called Clean the City. I'm from Fort Pierce, so um I'm from here. I'm from here. I've started off just helping out my best friend with his lawn care business. He okay. was a single person business and he needed help. So I started helping him. Yeah. And this was at the height of the pandemic. We saw a lot of people with overgrown yards. Due yeah. to the fact people was losing jobs and they had to save as much money as they could to keep the food on the table at that time. So people was the last thing people was trying to pay for was lawn care. Yeah. So we started seeing all these yards. So we took one day off during the week and started to knock on those people's doors and provide a free service for them. And the stories we started to get from these old people about how the city was just hounding them about the grass and they yeah. couldn't afford it, yeah. it, it, it touched us. So we started to take that one day and then it started to become two days. And then now I have a YouTube channel where I document what I do around Florida and I can make a living off YouTube doing this now. And I, it's, it's amazing. Wow. So for me being able to make a living off YouTube doing this, I get out in the community and I provide a free service. So. Ain't nobody come tell me to do this. Me and my friend that I told you about, we did this last year around this time, and it just grew right back. So I said, you know what? This is a property that I'm interested in. I don't have enough money now, but if my channel continue to grow, I could possibly buy it if they want to give it, you know, if they want to get rid of it. You know, yeah. some people just want to hold properties forever, so yeah. you never know. But if, I, if my channel continue to grow, and I have the funds, I would like to do something with this building, man, because you know, my grandfather used to be part owner of BJ's. Now it's a church. Oh, you see what I'm oh, saying? So it's a, it's, it's out there by my granddad. Yeah, so it's like, hey, if they could turn that into a church, then I should be able to turn this into something. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Then y'all tell you. Then I tell y'all this episode is about community. But little, little do y'all know, this is my, really my cousin. This is my blood cousin, not just the cousin that I call cousin. Like, and he approached me. He didn't even. I didn't know who he was. He didn't know who I was. He just approached me because he saw me clean up this property and he asked me what I was doing it for. And I went ahead and explained, but it's good that I keep my sister on me at all times because he said, that's my that's my cousin right there. I said, your cousin? Yeah, man. I said, that's my sister. What are you yeah. talking about? He said, I'm a Harris and that is my mom. My mom's maiden name is Harris. Yeah. This is my blood cousin. God works in mysterious yeah. ways. I really wanted him to be supposed to come back here today. I was supposed to come back Saturday. Yeah. If I would have came back Saturday, I would have never met my cousin for the first time. 
So y'all, this is how it work. Live oh, your life, man. man. Yeah. Live your life. life. Now I got life my cousin. Too short, man. I'm, I'm, you gotta live your life. I'm gonna give him my contact information. We're gonna keep in touch. Cause you know what? Like this family, and we gotta really keep in touch. We meet family. Yeah. So I love y'all. And um, until next time, y'all cut it up.